Hi, good morning. I've missed you all, but I have been thinking about you. Uh, I had made some uh, tamales the other day and actually over a couple days and it was such a lengthy, it's not such a lengthy process, but it just takes long enough that it didn't really seem like it would make a good video. Um, but I was also thinking back to, I had planned actually to make this recipe for brunch last weekend and um, plans changed and so we went out to eat instead of making our own food. Uh, so I thought this morning actually since I had still had the ingredients I would share how I make ready when you are whole wheat crips with creamed spinach. And I think this is actually a very quick recipe. It does require a little bit of prep time but I made the batter and then worked out uh, this morning and let it sit while I was working out and um, it was ready uh, when I was uh, going to start making the video today. Uh, so let's get started. So first of all, it's heating up my crepe pan, my cast iron skillet. But first I had about two cups of uh, spinach from my Misfits box that I tore up, uh, washed, and um, you know thoroughly uh, made sure the grit was out of it, and then wilted down and added about a cup or three quarters of a cup of cream cheese to that. And I have the lid on it, and I'm just letting that melt and continue to wilt down. And then, you know, that is something that you could get fancy and you could add some uh, pepper or some nutmeg to it, but because, you know, the cream cheese is already salty, it isn't really that necessary to add additional seasoning to it, especially if you don't really think of yourself as a morning person. And then I also, like I said, had made the batter ahead of time. And this batter is super easy, and also it's fantastic if you happen to have a Mennonite Red Heritage wheat, which I did for a year. Um, Joy Vesselis' uh, son-in-law had um, grows it, and so I had the opportunity to have really primo uh, wheat flour, um, but I'm using King Arthur whole wheat flour today. And the recipe I will put down below in the description box, but the batter, which is still in its handy little blender, is, if you hear banging, it's AJ, who's banging and uh, scratching and trying to get my attention. Um, three eggs, one cup milk. I actually didn't have milk, so what I did is I took some of my homemade yogurt that I always have and I added some water to thin it down. Three quarters of a cup of whole wheat flour, a pinch of salt, a pinch of uh, sugar and put that in the blender and blend it up and you can do that in the evening beforehand if you're really not a morning person or you can do it when you first wake up and then uh, you're going to uh, use it when you are ready letting it sit for about 15 minutes or so. So I've got my Misto sprayer which makes this uh, very handy. Uh, you can also use butter, but I like to use the Misto. Pour in about a half a cup. of the batter. I probably should have let this batter sit a, a little, um, blend it up a little bit more again, uh, just because I can see that it's a little lumpy. Get down, sweetheart. But the nice thing about this batter is that um, if you're using it in the blender, then you can just quickly blend it up 
again to mix it up again when it gets a little lumpy and then you can you're back uh, and you can uh, start to cook your crepes again. So get my spatula out here and this is the first one so we'll see how well this one does because uh, sometimes you know with pancakes you have sort of your throwaway prep but um, One of the things about the crepe is you can see that you can, I'll show you over here, you can lift up the sides a little bit and um, see how well it's cooked on the other side. And if I'm being a little adventurous, I will also just lift it up with my fingers. But um, I notice that it's ready to be flipped when it is fairly dry, uh, the surface is fairly dry. and then just flip it on its side. And uh, the other half, the other side has actually already um, cooked a little bit, you know, when you first cooked it, so you don't actually really need to cook it so much when you flip it back over again. Bringing back our spinach mixture with the cream cheese and mixing that up and the water also will loosen up the remaining water from this uh, wilted spinach. We'll loosen that up and make it into sauce. Add a little bit of pepper to that. Let some of the water cook off on that. Bring our crock fabric over so you can see what the other side looks like. some of the cream spinach filling. And here's the cream filled spinach prep ready for breakfast. What I like about this recipe is besides its versatility is that also it is something that gives you an opportunity to have some vegetables added to your day, especially important if you have a lot of surplus vegetables that you're not really used to using during the week. If you don't want to actually use something that has dairy, um, it's also very tasty with, of course, uh, jam or um, any sort of really pureed cooked vegetables that you might have uh, that you would want to add to the to the filling. So. Um, Thank you for watching. And oh, by the way, I wanted to give a shout out to Dana Shop to thank you for her beautiful uh, front uh, title. Uh, and that is also the little uh, stamp on the videos. Um, and I really appreciate her artistry and her support of my videos throughout. So if you have a chance to notice the title, please do push like to thank Dana for her um, support. And I always appreciate your support and look forward to any sort of ideas you have for future videos. Have a good Saturday. Bye-bye.